The 12th Manila International Auto Show recently opened at the World Trade Center in Pasay City with this year's theme, Smart Mobility. Some of the highlights of the four-day event included a presentation from Ford Philippines. We're excited again to be here at the 2016 uh, Manila International Auto Show. We've always uh, participated in this event. It's a great opportunity for us to interact with our customers and for these customers to see the lineup of our, all of our great new vehicles. We did launch two new models, so our family is getting a little bit bigger. So we launched this new limited edition EcoSport Black Edition, and we launched a new Everest. It's really for customers who uh, like all the uh, content and the luxury. It's the premium package, but they don't necessarily need the 4x4, or the, the larger 3.2 liter engine. So we've now added that to the Everest, the very popular Everest lineup. I'd like to invite all customers in the Philippines across the country to come down to your local Ford dealership and take a test drive in one of our many great new products. Hyundai Asia Resources Incorporated, which recently sealed a deal with its Korean principals to exclusively distribute trucks and commercial vehicles together with its present wide array of passenger cars, also had on display this new category that is now being offered to the market. We're so proud to be here at the Manila International Auto Show from April 7 to 10 because today Hyundai launched the commercial vehicles in the Philippines. We're so proud today because finally we will now participate in the Philippine ascent of business. I am pretty sure that with all the trucks and buses like this H350, which as you could see is very, very tall and very, very spacious, with the county buses at my back, with the backup of the HD 270, HD 6572, we have the complete lineup of the vehicles of Hyundai in the country. We started with the passenger cars, now moving forward to commercial vehicles. And I tell you now, we have the complete lineup from A to Z, from point to point, from goods, people we carry. We can carry people, we can carry goods from any part of the country. And so, if you would have the chance to visit any of our dealership to see the trucks and buses of Hyundai, go ahead. And of course, enjoy our GDI Veloster also. It's in the showroom right now. And given this kind of economy, the uh, sustainability that we are enjoying, I am sure that Hyundai again will make breakthrough in the Philippine business of the automotive industry. The Car Covenant Company unveiled their latest sedan model, the Chevrolet Sail. We're very excited to always participate in the Manila International Auto Show. This is really a good forum for all our mark for our market to give a good idea of all the different products that we have to offer. And of course, this is also a good opportunity for them to compare and see what's the best offer for them. In any market like the Philippines, it's always good that people will be given that opportunity. Well, this is what we call the Chevrolet Hub, and we welcome you to, to visit our Chevrolet Hub because we feel that this is the meeting of all the people who are interested in looking at the Chevrolet. That's why here we have the complete array of exciting Chevrolet products from the Chevrolet Suburban, the Chevrolet Trailblazer, the Chevrolet Colorado, the Chevrolet Trax, and of course, the very important product, the Chevrolet Sale, which we are introducing today. This is a very important segment for us because this is our first chance to be able to penetrate the very, uh, a very special niche, which is a very big segment in the automotive industry. This is going to be our most affordable unit that we will offer, and we are starting to offer this car at only 688,000. And this is already a 1.5 manual transmission vehicle with a very, very good variance and a very, very good spec. Jeep celebrates its 75th anniversary with a display of its ruggedly handsome off-road vehicles. Mercedes-Benz surprised the car enthusiasts with a lineup of new generation of compact cars. Eurobrand distributors, exclusive importers of Peugeot vehicles, had the 307 GTI together with its lineup of remarkable models. Okay, we're very happy to be part of the, uh, the 11th uh, uh, edition of the Manila International Auto Show. Uh, the Manila International Auto Show showcases a lot of the brands that we that were basically at par with. So we felt that we needed to be present uh, at this show. I think the show attracts uh, about 100,000 visitors every year. 
Uh, and this year we decided to do something different. Uh, we believe that we still need to introduce ourselves to a lot of people. Uh, the French connection must be strengthened. So we, we, we put up uh, a, a small booth uh, that resembles a uh, museum. And then we're only showcasing one car, the multi-awarded Peugeot 308 GTI. And then we have a, a lifestyle uh, merchandise area that showcases uh, products that Peugeot has been manufacturing even before they started manufacturing vehicles like salt and pepper uh, uh, mills, uh, coffee grinders, uh, the like. This is really to showcase to people, get them a slice of what the French can offer, the French lifestyle. That's, that's pretty much what the booth is all about. The much-awaited revival of Sang Yung vehicles had its official appointment of exclusive distributorship with Sang Yung Virjaya Mora Philippines and the launch of its initial market offerings. Today signals the arrival of uh, Sangyong, signals the uh, promise of Sangyong in the Philippine market. And uh, we are very happy to launch three vehicles, three models. I mean, we have the Tivoli 1.6 uh, crossover SUV, we have the compact SUV Corando, and the very well loved uh, luxurious MPV road use with a functionality in engineering like a uh, full size uh, SUV. And we are here to, uh, you know, to show to the public these three vehicles. Also, the people will have a chance to test drive the vehicles at the back of this pavilion. And uh, I am inviting uh, the customers outside that if they want to see, if they miss to test drive the vehicle here, they can go to our dealership at the Quezon Avenue dealers, uh, area for them to test drive the vehicle. Uh, this is our 12th show, so 12 years already. We started in 2005 and uh, it all started here actually in World Trade. We started with just two halls in World Trade Center. Now it has grown for, to four buildings and close to 30,000 square meters. So uh, making us the biggest motor show. I would think uh, this year would probably be another double digit year. Uh, given the economy, how strong it's doing right now, it usually translates to buying power. So we think uh, it'll, be, it'll be another banner year for the auto industry. That was a glimpse of the recent 12th staging of the Manila International Auto Show at the World Trade Center, Metro Manila.